Hello, hello everybody. It's been a couple of weeks, actually several weeks since I've been able to post a video. And uh, we've had some, some trying times here, but um, if I have a moment later on, I'll explain to you exactly what happened. All is well right now though. In the meantime, let's get started on this Wedgwood stone. It's a three and a quarter inch by two inch by one inch oval. And we're going to use, I'm using the old Anita's Wedgwood um, a regular white acrylic, metallic white pearl from Folk Art, some Folk Art hologram, and a few tools. These are basically the ones that I always keep on my desk. Okay, so as I was saying, this is the Anita's Wedgwood. And um, if you don't have it, Winter Blue works really, really well. It's very close. And also the Williamsburg, uh, you can actually tone that down with a little bit of white. So I'm going to start by laying my compass flat on the table and I have a white charcoal pencil in the end. I'm going to mark an edge all the way around just by dragging the stone. Okay. Of course that is base coated with the Wedgwood. So I'm going to find the approximate center by marking half of the halfway point from the top and bottom and then from side to side and mark it. Then with a four millimeter flat back tool, I'm going to lay a white center dot. And then I'm going to place four dots, north, south, east, and west, and four more in between that for a total of eight around the center dot. For the second row, I'm adding eight more dots, and um, they're going to be just above and in between the first row. So place eight more dots. Now the third row, just find a tool that's going to fit comfortably between the two dots below. And we're going to add four dots on each of the corners. Actually, it's an oval stone, so there aren't corners, but um, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, with a smaller tool, I'm going to walk five dots down from the top of the large dot. And we're going to go down right down to the first uh, dot from row one. So we're gonna place the first dot at the top and then count two, three, four, five. Okay, so again, we'll start at the top with one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna do that on all four elements. Now I'm going to do the same thing all over again. And starting at the top, I'm going to be using a little bit of a larger tool. And we're starting a little further out. So we're going to get an extra dot. Okay, so the first one is, of course, it's bigger. <laughs> and then the second is sort of in between the first two. And then three, four, five, and six. And we'll do that on all four elements. Okay, now I'm taking a thinner tool, something a little bit smaller. And I'm starting at about the third dot. And I'm going to bring the swoosh down and end right about where we ended the, uh, the walked dots. I'm doing that on all four, again, on all four of the elements. <laughs> now with the same tool and a little bit more paint so I can have a little bit larger and longer of a swoosh, um, I'm making a second set of swishes. It's going to start a little bit above the first one and we're going to come down and try to get the ends to meet at the bottom. I want to try to keep everything compact here and uh, we're going to come back in a little bit and we're going to uh, bring everything together with a dot right on top. So if we can keep the bottoms close, it'll look a lot better later on. So now with the same, same tool there, I am I'm walking five dots more or less along the edge of that second swoosh, the one on the left there. So just right about the, where the arc is, you're going to just start dotting. And if you bring down, I'm, I'm saying five, that's what I did, but if you have, you know, four or six, uh, it doesn't matter, just try to keep them even. So now with that um, smaller tool, I'm marking, a, we're gonna go along the edge that we marked when we had the compass on the table there. We want an even number of dots. So I'm going to hold my hand. I'm right-handed. So I'm holding my right hand in my left palm. That's going to help me um, keep my dots even 
and right on right on track. I want to stay on that solid line. Now that we've done that, we're going to take a much smaller tool and in between and below, actually it's going to be right on the line that we drew. I want to put a small dot in between each one of those larger dots. You can see the chalk mark there and uh, that's where we're going to put our little dot. Again, using a small tool, I'm putting another small dot, but this one here is going to be directly under the larger dot. So this is actually row three, and I'm putting another small dot right underneath row number one. Okay, so we're still using the same white acrylic paint. We're not going to change. Basically, this is what we're going to use for the whole thing. And um, I'm going to go back to the top, and I'm going to start laying out some little wispies. So I'm starting at the bottom of the swish, the right, the swish on the right, and I'm putting a little like finishing dot there. And then I'm just going to walk a bunch of little dots all the way up. So we don't need them to go straight. Now coming back to the other side, I want to bring everything together. So I'm bringing a little swoosh down from the side. I'm going to say corralling those, those five dots on the left. And then at the bottom of that swoosh, <laughs> I'm putting a dot and I'm going to add another little wispies. So now if you're not already a subscriber, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit reach down, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and maybe ring that bell so that you can be uh, notified when I put another video up. If you'd like to share my videos, that would be great too. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. So now we're going to bring everything together and with a larger tool, something that will you know, cover this area without making a big mess and not too, too small, but just find something that fits for you. Put those dots up the top there to bring those swishes together. And I think this might be a little bit larger of a tool and I'm coming back down to the edge there and I'm going in between every other um, set of dots there and I'm putting that large white dot. Now, this is why it was so important for me to stress uh, having an even number of dots. We've done this before on my other videos, and um, sometimes we can fool it and, and uh, <laughs> make it work, but with these size dots, we can't. It has to be um, an even number. All right, so up the top, I'm making these little triangle things with dots. I don't know what they're called. I don't know if they have a name or not, but it's like three little dots <laughs> in the shape of a triangle. So now, usually, I just let things kind of go if they're not exactly perfect. But for some reason, these, these little dots here, they were just, they were just bothering me. So I scraped them off. This is so stupid, but I scraped them off. I wiped them down with a, um, a Q-tip and tried to get as much of the paint, uh, paint off as I could. And then I filled it in with some fresh paint. And I actually moved those three dots, replaced them, approximately a quarter of an inch over to the right. <laughs> I told you it was crazy. On the large dots up top, I'm using the Wedgwood to give me an off-center top dot. And then on the smaller ones, I'm using the, the winter blue. If you don't have a winter blue, you can just, you know, tone down your original color and uh, make it a little bit lighter if you'd like. Put a different color completely. It's totally up to you. Um, so I have four large off-center top dots in the Wedgwood, and I have four smaller off-center top dots in the Winter Blue. So now on all my dots along the top and even around the edge, as a general rule, I will go back and I will redot all of my white with the white pearl. It gives it a little dimension. It also helps if your uh, surface color is a little bit dark and your white paint doesn't exactly cover it and the color might come through by adding the white pearl on the top gives it the extra coverage. So I'm doing the same thing on the top um, off center top dots. I'm putting little white dots on top of the Wedgwood and also smaller ones on top of the winter blue. With my four millimeter flat back crochet hook, I'm putting a nice big dollop of the white pearl right in the center there. This metallic paint is very sticky, so be careful when you're picking it up. It can string and make a mess. You don't want that. 
Now I'm going to use the hologram. Holograms are one of those things that I really like, and I have a tendency to use it right on top of my white or right on top of my my white pearl. It's um very subjective, I think, to each person. So if you like it, you can put it wherever you'd like. If you don't like it, you don't even need to put it at all. I think it adds a whole lot of character to my stones. So um, if you've been watching any of my videos, you see that pretty much every single one of my videos has hologram. So I'm just going over the top of those little triangly dotty things with the hologram. And I'm also just sprinkling some random dots across the top of my of my stone. Those will dry clear, but with a little bit of shimmer. And um, even though it looks like I'm putting a lot and it might be a little overwhelming, it, it's really not in the end. Okay, so now along that top row there on the edge, I've put Wedgwood off center top dot facing up on every other one of those original dots, the first row of dots. And on the first go around, they were a little bit skinny. So I came back and I just redotted over them and gave them a little bit more body. Now down below on the larger dots, I'm going to do all of all of the dots. I'm not going to skip any. Now I'm flipping this over, I'm putting one dot at the bottom, or actually it's the top and I'm working down, but depending on how you're looking at it, that's the top this way, walking two dots down to the dot below. So I'm putting a dot at the top, one, two, and then I'm redotting the first one and one, two. And I'm doing that all the way around on every other uh, element. Now, the other thing I'm going to do down here is I'm going to put an off center top dot facing upwards. It's, it's actually facing up towards the center when the stone is turned right way up. I thought I was going to leave it like this, but then I decided that all of the dots needed to be top dotted. So I continued around and just did them all. Now I'm back at the top again. And on that first row with the uh, little dots that we had placed, I think that's the first row, the second row, whatever row that is. Um, I did the off center top dots every other one. And now the remaining dots at the top there, I have recoated with white pearl. I'm going to tell you that this particular stone I had done quite a while ago, and I don't remember exactly where I put white pearl and or or the um, hologram and because they are both pretty white on this film it's really hard for me to tell so I'm going to just leave it up to you to put the hologram wherever you'd like I can tell you that I did put hologram here this is my little kappa hologram and I needed something between these elements here but I didn't want another white dot so I put just put a, a, a dot right on the, uh, so I put a, hot, a dot of hologram right on the wedge wood. And um, once it's dried, it doesn't, of course, leave that white mark. It just leaves a nice little, nice little shimmer. It catches the eye, breaks up that area there. So you can see how it um, filled in just quite nicely. So on these little lacy bits here, I'm going over the white dots again, once again, with the uh, metallic white pearl. And then the final last thing that I did was on each of those little uh, elements, the little lacy bits there, I put a little pico, one little tiny dot hanging down. So if you want to seal this, I would suggest that you actually use an, a matte sealer. You want to preserve the look of the Wedgwood. And that's it. I think this is a great beginner project. It's quick and it's easy. What do you think? Leave me your comments below. So thank you for watching. Be good. Take care. And until next time, bye-bye.